Uh, my name is Mo, and today we are going to continue with our tutorial on NLP. So, uh, so far we had our data set imported here, and then we start cleaning the data set. We then a little bit further, we start the presentation, and then we uh, like uh, explain dematizing and stemming, and find out that okay, maybe dematizing is better choice for us. So, we have a data set here, we have uh, our labels, uh, it labeled zero if it, our tweet is not hate speech and it, it labeled one if it uh, contains like uh, some words about the uh, hate speech. And yeah, that's how we, uh, what we have here so far. And today we are going to work on uh, stop words. So if you're not familiar with the uh, concept of stop words, these are the words that we are using uh, like every day in our routine talk uh, and calls and like chats and emails and these are words that like uh, pretty much we see and, and like uh, say we hear everywhere and having them inside our data sets or tweets doesn't make any like uh, it doesn't affect uh, the concept of uh, labeling uh, to it as hate speech or not. So uh, by removing them, we make this word, this sentence shorter, or this list that we have here shorter, and we make this uh, like more accurate or like classification topic more accurate. So I'm gonna show you how we can do this. So we can import it from NLTK. It's already there. So from Sorry, uh, from NLTK dot corpus, we can import uh, stop words. Stop words and see. So now we have it, and I'm gonna uh, make it a List of words, stop words, I'm gonna call it stop words, and it is actually stop words that we already imported, and we are gonna be looking for words there, and we are working on English language, so English. Then we can see stop words, the list. So, yeah, what we have got here, it's a list of words, and you see the like English word that we zoom in a little bit. So, yeah, we use every day, like it's them, they, who, whom, uh, a, or like everything. And the, so the, these are things that we have everywhere, like here, short sentence. Like tokens of the short sentence. See, okay, in is here. Yeah. U is also here. U is also one of the stop words. And I maybe it's one of them. So even if it's like a short sentence, we can remove maybe like 30% of the sentence. And it doesn't affect the, the, the fact that uh, with other words, we can already say that if it contains hate speech or not. So that's that's why. We want to remove them. So, uh, as we, our strategy is to like choose one of the sentences and apply this and see the difference. I'm gonna like keep our strategy and do the same. I'm gonna call it text stop words, and it's like our data frame here. I'm gonna go for data frame and for demo. Uh, sorry for First clean one, and we can do it with lemma. And data frame that lemma, and I'm gonna call the first one so we can see it here. So we have a list uh, with words, and I want to see if, how many like uh, stop words that do we have here. So for this reason, I think we can go for. Uh, 
let's say, let's see first the sentence without the stop words. Like, okay, text st without st words. So it's a little bit long, but it's okay. So, so this, and I'm gonna turn a list. So, uh, return show me the x for x in. Uh, x is thing. If not in stop. So it will return x if it's not in our stop words, right? And let's just try to see if it's working. Not. Oh, okay. If x not in. in it's not work, okay. So this is kind of like our list without stop words. To compare them, I, I would suggest let's go for also find the stop words here, right? It's the same thing, but with stop words. So just we just want to compare them. Right? So if it is in this, you're gonna have it. And I'm gonna print them. Uh, so see all of them. Also the original one. So without. So I'm gonna print this. I'm also gonna print uh, with the stop words, right? Um, uh, before them, I want to print uh, text here, right? And then I call it text or demo. Let's also see the text. Okay, that that helps to compare them, right? So here also it is without st upwards. Okay, and it's like this, and also. Then, um, so next one is uh, stop words in text. The stop words that are already inside our sample text, right? So, and I'm gonna also add the, this one then here. Sorry, inside parentheses, and let's see how to look like. Okay, this is our original text here, and you see it has like 17 words. Our uh, text after cleaning stop words has only seven on it, and it's like we had 10 stop words in one sentence. That's crazy, even after cleaning and removing all the stuff. And these are the stop words that we had, and like we had 10 stop words inside that one text. So just imagine if we apply this to the whole data set, we are gonna lose a lot of words. Some may say it's important to have them, some may say not. It's your choice, you can try both of them. But it's rather drastically like uh, increases the time of like machine learning uh, uh, on this model. Definitely. So uh, I'm gonna uh, define a function here. So stop words. I'm gonna call it remove stop words, and it gets the here we have a list of uh, words, right? And how it's gonna work? It's gonna do exactly the same thing here. And, and it's gonna call it cleaned. So here and so and it 
get uh, so we feed it feed some uh, list of words here like the one that we had we already defined the stuff words so it understands that we uh, we are referring to a list that we already have here right here this is the list okay and search for the word inside the list and it returns it if it's not inside this list so return int. that's the function that we have and we're gonna add it to our uh, data frame so df i think it's the final list that we have so final list and then uh, we are going to need to apply it to demo, right? And then I'm going to apply it just like how we did before. And then I'm going to see our data frame. So yeah, we got our data frame here. See, this is the long list that we had our demo. For example here and this is the short one I, I not i don't care about being like having short or long text or list of words here but it's very important for our processing time and we don't need some of the words that are like here in our lemma so it doesn't it, it doesn't really make sense to remove them and that's how we can do this